All right, Sid Zweigbaum down on the field with Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle after this 20-14 loss to Widener. Coach, tough way to end the game, but you got to be happy with the way the team battled back down 20-7 to in the fourth. Yeah, you know it's a, it's a resilient group, you know, and we've we've seen this the last you know in the last couple of weeks. So, um, you know, they never gave up. You know, I just I think we left too many plays on the field today. Coach, fourth and goal from the four. What are you guys trying to do uh, to to get ahead there? Well, you know, you're, you're trying to trying to utilize some space. You, you know, that's that's what we were trying to do, and and you know, typically we're pretty good in space. So, um, you know, you roll the dice and you know hope it works out for you. What makes their defense uh, so difficult to to play offense against? Because obviously you guys are, uh, you know, the passing game has been you know amazing all season. Well, I think they don't miss tackles. You, you know, you you watch them, and and I think that was a there's a distinct physical difference, and and some of their guys run around on the back end, and um, you know their linebackers are big, the D linemen are big, you know they're big and strong, and they're weight room kids, and you know they don't they don't miss tackles, and they don't make mistakes. I, I don't think they overcomplicate the game. They let, let their players play, and and you know they're playing with, you know, playing at a very high level right now, and playing with a lot of confidence, and and that's what it takes to play great defense. Coach, you guys had three fourth and shorts, uh, fourth and goal from the two, a fourth and one at the 16, and obviously the end. Is that something you guys, will, or I guess, will have to work on during the week, or, or you'll you'll take a look at a lot on the film, of what you could have done? Well, I mean, the, the, the easy response is, you know, hey, coach, you should have kicked it. Um, you know, field position had been an issue all afternoon, and, and we didn't know how many shots we were going to get at it. So, you know, I decided that we'd be aggressive at that point and, you know, try to score touchdowns. But, again, I, you know, those things aren't fixed in, in a week. Those things are fixed in February. And, and, you know, we've got to get stronger. We've got to be a more physical football team to get the hard yards when we need it. Coach, uh, obviously this, you know, shakes up the conference standings for you guys a little bit. Uh, how do you get the team ready for the next couple of weeks? Well, it's an opportunity to play football. You, you know, you work all year and you only get 10 opportunities to do so. And if you're fortunate enough to, to earn an 11th, you, you know, you're, you're, you're in, the, in the minority, so to speak. Um, you know, 250 teams play Division Three football. And, um, you know, I still think there's some postseason opportunities out there for us, possibly, you know, if we're able to you know, have some success over the next two weeks, you know, maybe get lucky and get, get into an ECAC game. But, um, you know, I, the, all year we've talked about playing for one another, you know, and, and regardless of, of where we are, we've got to strap it up next Saturday and the Saturday after and play for the seniors and play for one another. And, you know, it's another opportunity for us to get better as a football program. All right, Coach, thanks a lot for your time. We'll see you in two weeks. Thank you. All right, that was Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle-Stevenson suffers a setback 20-14 to at home to Widener.